just have a, maybe tell us a little bit about the Guernsey you're wearing today and um, yeah, the kind of inspiration behind that one. Yeah, obviously the Guernsey I'm wearing today is designed by Daryl. He's one of our artists um, around, around here in Perth. Um, he's, a, he's a relative former player, um, former West Coast player back in 2000 to 2001. Um, so yeah, he's the designer of this Guernsey. I think the key factors about this Guernsey is um, Wagul, which means the snake in Noongar language, <coughs> comes in from the east. So if you're falling through in land, um, then the pattern that he comes through of the design and the hills um, and the rivers and the creeks with it. Um, the white um, just here represents the footy club journey. You can probably add a few more on that um, after this year. So really resilient, um, the journey of the club on the design. Uh, the yellows here also represent um, the in connection with the Footy Club supporters. I'm a fan and members, so we're really thankful for you to be on that journey with us as well. Um, and the others, uh, this one is just obviously the um, mainly the family supporting around the design from Daryl as well. So um, yeah, I think a couple of key factors there about this Guernsey, and for me to be representing it um, in the next two two fixtures, um, and obviously our, our, our football club. Uh, indigenous players and, and non-indigenous players to support our club in this uh, significant round we have um, and lucky to have yeah, two, two rounds of indigenous rounds so really grateful. What does that, the, the rounds mean to you as a footballer? Yeah I think it's a huge huge uh, huge huge round to be a part of um, for myself to reflect um, on, on past years I played um, at Carlton um, but also you know a new journey for myself to throw this game on and um, it means to me to means a lot, I think, to represent my family, um, my past family, I think, uh, represent my footy club, um, my non-Indigenous teammate, my Indigenous teammate. So I think to be all in at one, to represent this great football club is you know, something that you know, I hold and hopefully it's my first time this is this one, so it's going to be pretty special. Yep, yeah, no, 100%. I'm, I'm originally from Halls Creek, is uh, north east of the Kimberley region in Western Australia. So um, they've got two sides of the background. Um, from my mum's side is Gija. We, we sort of circle around the, the east side of the Kimberley region, around Halls Creek to Warman community, more surrounding the Pillar Luna National Park where the, the Bungal Bungal come from. So my great great grandfather was originally born there, who I'm named after, Sam. Um, so hopefully, in hindsight, a lot of a lot of my nicknames are Samo or stuff like that, and just cultural reason we can't really repeat or say the say the name Sam after um, an elder or relative pass away. Um, and yeah, and then obviously the dad side is uh, the Bunaba region, where uh, mostly it's more central part of the uh, Kimberley region, where mainly Fitzroy, where the Fitzroy uh, crossing come from. And yeah, and that uh, probably it's the same connection family with Toby Bedford, who's uh, a cousin of mine who plays for Demons. So yeah, um, yeah, grew up there playing. Playing footy there, and yeah, but a but a story of um, where I come from and where, where uh, my cultural and language group are surrounding that part of the region. Yeah, um, it means the world. I think um, uh, growing up, it's the only sport we've played is footy and basketball up there, and now um, they they ran three into their season up there, and um, you know, sharing one one oval at Horse Creek, and you know, can have not a double header. There's bloody four games and in one day there so you know they could be starting at 12 and finishing at 10 at night so um, that's when yeah the whole surrounding community come come together and yeah I think joy and love of footy. It's a pretty incredible place they produce a lot of AFL footballs especially in the last probably five or six years. Um, probably the, say it's the biggest footy factory in WA? Oh I'd say it's one of the closest um, um, no yeah it's definitely I think you know I'm pretty proud to be I think the first one to to get drafted and hopefully show the way that you know people from this um, region or in that lifestyle upbringing that I had, you know, really, really, um, you know, there's a way to, you know, to get to the AFL if you work hard and put your head down. Um, but yeah, obviously there's other other cousins of mine in the system now. There's Shane McAdam was playing some really good footy. Jai Farrow who played at Gold Coast. That's Johnson, you know, we all got the same grandmother. So, um, you know, there are four of us, our oh, five, uh, Roy, Eric Benning, who just got drafted to Frio. So, yeah, there's five, six of us who got the same grandmother and, you know, we really grad, uh, really proud family and um, I guess yeah we're doing them really well and doing the home home community very proud. Is all your family still up there? Are you trying to get back up there often? Um, they actually made it down for my hundred last night. Um, it wasn't planned or anything um, so they just managed to book it and 
and luckily it um, falls in at the right time. So yeah, mum and dad came down um, and the rest of the family up there. So, you know, for them to, to come down and I think just being in Perth and playing for West Coast now is closer to family. Um, a bit um, grateful now that, you know, there's there's people in the grandstand watching me instead of being over in the east and they're watching me on telly. So a bit more um, grateful to, you know, for them ha having them in the stands and watching me. Yeah, as a result of last night, I think we really played a really good brand of footy. Obviously, really great improvement from previous week. Um, I think the big one was obviously not losing by heaps, but also you know keeping keeping um, Stephen May and uh, Jake Lever um, to like nine nine intercept mark as a forward group. So did a good in that job, and I think you know we had a really strong one. Uh, Strong focus of going in with the contest and um, work rate, and I think we really sort of matched them around in that area, especially in that second quarter. So, um, yeah, I think you know there's a lot of positive, but um, you know, there's a lot of room for improvement to, to try and get better on the training track with the boys. How are you feeling? <coughs> Carlton has some pretty tough years there, going through their own rebuild. Come over to the Eagles, a famously successful club, and going now going through the same process. Uh, you know, as Carlton were when you were there. How are you feeling about it all? Yeah, oh, I'm feeling, I uh, think you can sort of see it in two sides, but I think for me, I'm sort of having a sort of feel of it at Carlton in the last couple of years. I think for me now, just having that knowledge and just sort of trying to try to use some of the some of the things I did over in Carlton to try, you know, get the boys up and um, going ready for training, little things like that. Hopefully just bringing some good energy, um, you know, really can switch their, their mood swing um, from, you know, Get, it, get them up a bit in the energy level. So, um, in, in hindsight as well, it's just more in closed door, just working together as a group, you know, trying to really build some really good chemistry and um, I guess playing as a team and um, really building that, you know, I think that team team, team connection. Are the situations compare at all, like the feeling around the club when you're going through a tough time like that, mm. are, they, are they similar at all? Do you feel like you're in a bit of a similar stage now, Carlton? Yeah, there's a bit similar there. I think it's just more around I think um, the playing group obviously just trying to drive each other to get better. I think, you know, hopefully, you know, we can't rely on the coaches or outside noise to get us better. It's more self-driven with the team and that to, um, you know, get the young ones mingling with um, the older guys, you know, so you know, that they can feel that, you know, they can get better at, at the same time and together. So, um, yeah, there's a bit of similarity there, but, um, you know, the more we can do it as a playing group to, to get better. Any frustrations that they're um, doing so last well? Question. Any frustrations of they're doing so well now and you were there during those kind of formative years building up to where they are now? Oh, no, there's not no, any uh, frustration there. Obviously, you know, I made my decision in the trade period to come over and, you know, and I made the best decision there to come back home and hopefully to play for this great club, West Coast Eagles. And, you know, obviously, still watch them a bit, um, still support them because obviously, you know, I've spent about like, five years there, got drafted there, matured over there. And, um, you know, there's definitely a little soft spot for them, but um, no, I love watching the style of they play and, you know, whenever I get the chance.